Hello and welcome. This is Katie. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm so excited to be joining you today to celebrate my friend Annalisa G over at Faith Dream Create Cards. Annalisa is celebrating her thousand subscriber milestone here on YouTube and we are celebrating. Annalise is giving away a $30 gift card to Simon Says Stamp so everybody can participate. Kendra from Cards by Kendra is giving away one of her card kits. That is only open to the USA due to shipping. The giveaway ends March 5th, so be sure and leave your comments, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to the channels um, by March 5th so you can be entered into the giveaway. Link to the next person on the hop is going to be at the top of my description box below, so be sure and check that out so you can follow along on the hop and have more chances to win. Today's theme is heat embossing. That's one of Annalise's favorite things to do. And so hopefully you guys will get some great inspiration from different heat embossing techniques. The technique I'm going to do is the heat emboss resist, but I'm going to blend my colors a little bit differently and I hope you like it. So the products I'm going to use today is the Versamark Dazzle. Uh, my regular Versamark ink pad's filthy, so that's why I'm using the Dazzle. I've got some clear embossing powder and um, a background stamp this one is my favorite things floral fantasy but any background stamp is going to work and then i've got some hot press watercolor paper this is the fabriano artistico i use hot pressed i prefer that it's easier to stamp on uh, and this is the strathmore 500 series uh, also 100 percent cotton i like the strathmore it's very affordable i'll have everything linked up in the description box below so you can check that stuff out this is the color hive inks from maker forte uh, these are perfect for ink blending um, water coloring all kinds of good stuff i'm going to use tartan teal tip tree jam and sugar plum and this is just a quick swatch that i make to have the colors right in front of my face so that i can uh, see which colors I think might go well together. I talked about that in a previous video. Now I'm going to take my last piece of Strathmore 500 series watercolor paper and treat that with some kaolin clay powder. And that's really all you need and a powder brush. That is the best powder to use for your anti-static powder and you don't need a fancy applicator to use it. You can buy kale and clay powder anywhere. Um, and then of course, just get a new cheapy makeup powder brush uh, to be able to apply it to your cardstock. Um, the smusher tool that I'm using here is from Maker Forte and I really like it because it's big and it's flat. So if you have gripping problems or dexterity problems, you can just lay your hand flat on there and push it. You don't have to grip it. Uh, I did ink that up three times. I only showed you one time on camera simply because it's repetitive. Uh, but I inked it up three times. I added my clear embossing powder and now I'm getting ready to heat set, heat set that. And you'll know because it is smooth and melted and in this case it's going to be a little bit shiny once we get it all heated up. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Now I'm going to use my foam blending tools. These are the dome ones from scrapbook.com. Uh, any foam tool works. I like it for this technique because it gives nice deep color saturation. Blending brushes tend to be a little bit uh, more of a softer application. Um, so you could do direct to paper or you can use your foam tools to add your ink. The first one there, the pinky red is tart, uh, tip tree jam. This purple one here is sugar plum and this last one's gonna be tartan teal. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to use the color hive inks versus distress inks, cause you can use distress inks for the same technique, is because I wanted you to, to know that there's another option out there that will do the same thing as Distress Inks, except you're gonna get a much deeper color saturation and you can stamp with them. So real quick, I'm going to saturate my panel with some Perfect Pearls, cause I just like to have that shimmer, uh, but it's clean, clear water and Perfect Pearls in a spray bottle and I'm just saturating that really well and then I'm gonna let it dry, air dry, and it took a couple of hours, but the Color Hive inks are really water reactive, as you can see, just like uh, Distress inks are, but you get nice deep color saturation without a lot of effort, but you can stamp with them and you can ink blend. So you get a lot more versatility with this particular ink pad than you do with Distress inks, for example. So I'm using the Waffle Flower uh, Oversized Hugs Stamp and Die Set. I've got the Cat Scrappiness, uh, 
postage stamp die set. So I used the largest one and I couldn't decide if I wanted holographic paper for my hugs or just white. Obviously I went with the white. But I layered that up three time th times with some heavyweight white cardstock. And that is actually the 120 pound accent opaque. And uh, I'm adhering the panel down to a piece of Eclipse black uh, cardstock from Maker Forte. And then adding my hugs down to my panel. The sending is inked up with some Eclipse black ink from Maker Forte as well, the Color Hive ink. And I layered that sentiment up three times also and the liquid glue I'm using is just a book binding glue it's PVA glue it's archival uh, it's perfect for paper crafting and it's very affordable like I said everything will be linked in the linked up in the description box below and the inside layer there is just some Gina K white layering card stock but that finishes up the card I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel be sure and click that link in the description box below as well to follow along on the hop I hope you have a fantastic day I'll catch you in the next video